Hi, hello everyone. This is Dr. J. Ramadu, lecturer in Botany, VSR Government Degree and PG College, Mauva, Krishna District, Andhra Pradesh. In this video, we shall discuss about the bryophyte Markansia. So, Markansia anatomy, reproduction, and life cycle. So, in this video, we shall discuss about uh, Markansia life cycle. So, you know, Markansia is a bryophyte. When we are observing the systematic position of the Markansia, kingdom plantae, division bryophyta, class hepatic apsida, order Markansialis, family Markansiaceae, and the genus Markansia. So, in this Markansia, Markansia polymorpha is a, a very, very important species in Markansia. So, when coming to the distribution and habitat of uh, Markansia, Markansia comprises about uh, 65 species distributed around the world, various parts in the world. So, cosmopolitan distribution. In India, the genus is represented by 11 species growing mainly in Himalayas. A very few species are also occurring in the plains and hills of uh, southern India. So, particularly the Markansia grows in Assam, Bengal state as well as Punjab states. So, it grows the best in moist and as well as shady regions and also the stream banks side along with mosses. So, okay, this is the distribution of uh, inhabitant of Markansia. So, Markansia dominant phase is uh, uh, gametophytic phase. So, when we observe the external morphology of the Markansia, Thallus is uh, dichotomously branch, dorsi as well as ventral flattened and ribbon shape. So, Markansia, the thalli possess a distinct ometry. The dorsal surface is provided with the cup shaped structures called as jamma cups. So, containing the vegetative propagules called jamme. So, in addition to that, the dorsal surface is also provided with certain upright branches called orchigoniophores and anthridiophores. So, the ventral surface of the thallus is provided with the unicellular rhizoids and it multicellular scales. So, this is the external morphology. When we observe this external morphology, when we, we observe the, uh, this diagram, so these are all uh, gemma cups. So, this is the thallus, greenish color. So, these are all cup shaped called the gemma cups. So, when we observe this one, here these are uh, 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 reproductive part that is anthidiophores and this is uh, orchigoniophores. Yes. So, come to the point, uh, the thallus anatomy. So, Markansia thallus, thallus is divided into two regions or we are called also two zones. So, upper zone, upper zone is uh, photosynthetic uh, zone that are also called as uh, assimilatory region. So, the second one is lower storage region. So, these are uh, uh, the two main regions found in thallus anatomy. Okay, so the first we will discuss uh, the first region that is upper assimilatory region. So, upper assimilatory region is very important because uh, this uh, uh, the very important function is uh, photosynthetic function. We observed this one photosynthetic function, the photosynthetic uh, chambers also present, photosynthetic chambers also present in this uh, region. Each chamber has uh, branched and unbranched chlorophylls, uh, photosynthetic filaments uh, arising from the base. Okay, so this is the assimilatory region. So, coming to the so, uh, and the same region, the chambers are dorsally covered by the upper epidermis. Uh, each chamber is provided with uh, a barrel shaped air pore. So, when we observe this diagram, so upper region, yes, you please see the diagram. The upper region is this is region is called as photosynthetic uh, region. We can found uh, uh, the outer part that is uh, one layer part is called as epidermis and below the part is uh, photosynthetic tissue. So, this is uh, the air pore. Okay, right. Coming to the second one, lower storage region. So, the lower storage region is very important in this thallus. So, the region is made up of uh, 
thin walled parenchymata cells loaded with uh, uh, numerous starch grains number of uh, starch grains in this uh, region a few of these cells contains a large oil body and uh, mucilages and in this region sclerites are also seen which are uh, thick walled and their function is to provide uh, mechanical support so on the lower side of the storage region is bounded the lower epidermis bearing rhizoids as well as scales okay this is the second uh, uh, region that is lower region coming to the next aspect in the marcantia life cycle reproduction in marcantia so marcantia reproduces by vegetative reproduction asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction so three types of reproductions are present in marcantia life cycle so first one is vegetative reproduction so vegetative reproduction by the means of fragmentation by the means of adventitious branching by the means of death and decay of uh, walled regions so first coming to the fragmentation so fragmentation when marcantia when it undergoes to the mechanical means uh, it undergoes to the thallus uh, get fragmented so the separated fragmented and uh, again it is survived as the new thallus or developed as the new thallus second one is adventitious branching so some of the marcantia uh, thallus parts uh, developed as the branching so these branches are separated from the thallus and obviously it will developed as the new thallus and the third one is uh, death and decay parts so when golden region of the marcantia thallus uh, de disintegrated and this uh, developed and uh, new part of the developed from the new thallus okay so this is the uh, vegetative reproduction so coming to the another reproduction that is asexual reproduction so asexual reproduction or uh, asexual propagules are also called as gemme occurring in a gemma cup so uh, on the absorption of the water and the gemme get detached from the cup and finally grows out to the form rhizoids and start the absorption function so when we observe this uh, gemma cup stiers of gemma cup so here these uh, uh, these are called as gemme so this is all are called as gemma cup okay so this when detached from the gemma cup each gemme developed as new thallus new thallus so it is independent it is independent so next one is the third reproduction is uh, sexual reproduction so in marcantia sexual reproduction is or uh, uh, heterothallic that means uh, uh, male thallus is different uh, uh, to female thallus so that means this uh, marcantia thallus is dioecious so the sexual maturity of the thallus is revealed by the presence of upright special reproductive branches are called archegoniophores and anthridiophores so the marcantia sex organs are anthridium as well as archegonium so anthridium is the male sex organ and archegonium is the female sex organ so the archegonia and anthridia are born on archegoniophore and the anthridiophore are also developed so the anthridiophore is an erect branch of the thallus distinguishable into stalk and eight lobed structure so when we observe this uh, anthridiophore so these are the anthridiophore this is a male uh, gametophyte male thallus so these are uh, uh, anthridiophores anthridiophores eight lobed structures so when we observe the mature anthridium of the marcantia consists of a short stalk and a globular body so the anthridial body is further distinguished into a single jacket layer enclosing this is the jacket layer enclosing a mass of uh, androgonial cells so the anthridium consists of uh, mass of uh, androgonial cells so the androgonial cells is converted to the androcyte mother cell from uh, and to androcyte each of which is uh, metamorphosed into biflagellate spore that is anthrojoid so that means anthridium developed into uh, uh, anthridium produce anthrojoid anthridium produce anthrojoids next one is uh, archegoniophore 
so archegonia for and uh, uh, this is uh, the archegonia for is the female reproductive organ and uh, the archegonia for is also distinguishable into a long stalk and a stellate disc so the archegonium is a flask shaped structure and it is distinguishable into a narrow neck and a swollen ventral so when we observe the archegonium we can find out a egg cell and ventral cell a large uh, that is uh, neck neck we can find so in neck we can find out the neck canal cells so that means nearly 4 to 6 neck canal cells and it is capped by four cover cells so the venter here we can find out the venter the venter is also one cell thick and contain a ventral canal cell so see this ventral canal cell so this is the uh, that is archegonium archegonium in archegonium we can find out the main venter ventral canal cells uh, neck canal cells okay so and this coming to the another aspect uh, this uh, sporophytic phase so immediately after the fertilization that means uh, uh, that is uh, uh, anther released andro uh, androcyte anthrozoid and uh, archegonium release uh, egg these both undergoes to uh, fertilization so after immediately fertilization the diploid zygote or oospore is formed so which then enlarge until it is completely fill the cavity of venter of the archegonium so and it secretes yes so the secretes uh, a cell wall around the oospore so the wall of the venter also undergoes to the division it divides and uh, redivides to form a several layered calyptra surrounding the uh, sporophyte so surrounding the sporophyte so the sporophytic phase some of the cells at the base of the venter also divide and redivide forming a collar like a cylindrical one celled outgrowth known as a pseudoperium or this is also called as a perigonium so the mature sporogonium is a more or less elongated structure so it is differentiated into three distinct regions that is when we observe the sporophyte three distinct regions so that is first one is foot second one is seta third one is capsule so foot seta this region is capsule so this is the sporophyte of marcantia so when we observe the sporophyte of marcantia we can find out the three distinct uh, structures that is foot seta and capsule okay so this is uh, the sporophytic phase and life cycle of marcantia so marcantia is a gametophyte so marcantia uh, is heterothallic that means male plant is different to female plant so male plant uh, the first one is uh, first uh, reproduction is vegetative reproduction so vegetative reproduction by the means of uh, fragmentation by the means of uh, adventitious branching so uh, asexual reproduction by the means of uh, jamae so coming to the sexual reproduction so male plant uh, male marcantia plant produced uh, anthridiophore so male uh, receptacle and it produced uh, anthridium and uh, uh, anthrozoid that is sperm cells so female plant that is female marcantia produced uh, archegoniophore so female receptacle and it produced uh, archegonium and egg so here archegonium and anthridium are haploid so egg also haploid sperm cell or anthrozoids also haploid so these both uh, male and female uh, uh, that is reproductive parts uh, undergoes to fertilization and it produced uh, oospore this is uh, diploid in nature that means uh, oospore further developed into embryo so this embryo further developed as sporogonium so this sporogonium uh, further developed as uh, spore mother cells so these four mother cells is deployed these four mother cells are undergoes to the meiosis and it forms a spore tetrad so these spore tetrads form spores these spores are haploid okay these haploid spores further developed and it is germinated and it forms either male parent or female plant so this is the life cycle of marcantia so thank you